All right, I'm gonna uh, get up under it right here. It's probably the hardest part it's getting that started. It's just a trim that goes around it and kind of, you know, I'm trying to do this with one hand. But, um, and this just goes around it and exposes the three or four screws that, um, that hold the keyboard in. Of course, if you can, um, let's see, there's only, oh, let me get this. There's any, anyway, one, two, three, four. Not all of them will have all the screws, but this drill's almost dead. Just grab the screwdriver. One, two, three. And yeah, if you can feel free to try to pop a screw off, I mean, a, a, the key off that you need and pop it on the other one, but I just swap the whole thing. This keyboard is good. I guess I'll just send this keyboard I'm taking off right here. Anyway, it's those four screws. And then you just lift it up at the bottom. Oop, back up. Sometimes they, yeah, when they ship it, they have two screws in. Yep, these two right here. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. So, flip it over and look at these two spots. See if there's two screws there. They're a little longer screws. I'm not sure if it's let go or not. Oh, that one did for sure. Yeah, still one hand trying to do this. Um, yeah, but and get those get the screws out of it. It just lifts up like that, and there's uh, just the one connection. Right here, I'm gonna gently lift this tab. Use a little flathead or whatever, and then pull that out. And I'm gonna close that back and make sure that's closed. Don't leave it sitting there open. Allow it to break off. But that's all it is. So you're putting it in. Just get it in. The tab. There's tabs at the top that just slip in. You know, connect it, set it down. Put a couple few screws in here, pop that trim on, good to go.